The Kremlin's confirmed that President Putin met the head of the Wagner mercenary group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, personally, after the organisation had staged a mutiny. Mr Putin's spokesman said that the meeting took place in Moscow on the 29th of June, that's five days after that mutiny began. 35 Wagner commanders were there, including Mr Prigozhin. Details of what happened at the meeting are scarce. The Kremlin spokesperson says simply that both sides assessed what had happened and that the Wagner group said they were strong supporters of Mr Putin. Well, Vitaly Shevchenko of BBC Monitoring joins us now. Bit of a curious story this one, isn't it, Vitaly? What do you make of it? Well, uh, the meeting took place just five days after this man, Evgeny Prigozhin, and his people shot down a number of helicopters, killing uh, their pilots, at least one plane. And then, after this meeting, as far as we know, he was allowed to walk free. Now, also, what the uh, presidential spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, said, um, apparently, after discussing the mutiny, uh, Vladimir Putin um, offered what his spokesman said, options for Wagner fighters' future employment and uh, military deployment, which suggests that the Kremlin sees, or saw at the time, a future for the uh, for the for the group, what the uh, Kremlin spokesman did not mention today are uh, Evgeny Prigozhin's whereabouts. We've not heard from him uh, for about ten days now, and we we've, we've had in the in the in, in the past couple of weeks a lot of comments about uh, him and and his possible future, but not from the man himself and. And a lot of people on, uh, online have been tracking um, flights made by Evgeny Prigozhin's uh, private jet between Belarus, where he's supposed to, uh, to move uh, under a deal uh, um, reached with the Kremlin, apparently. Uh, so his plane has been flying to Be from Belarus to Moscow, St. Petersburg. But where exactly Evgeny Prigozhin is at the moment, we don't really know. Many things we don't know about this story. Uh, another question, Vitaly. Why do you think the Kremlin decided to announce that this meeting had taken place now? Why didn't they announce it at the time? Well, more than that, when um, Dmitry Peskov, the, the spokesman for uh, the Kremlin, was asked about Evgeny Prigozhin's whereabouts on the 29th of June, which is when this meeting uh, was supposed to have taken place, he said, we don't know. He wasn't aware of uh, his whereabouts. So all this only adds to the air of mystery surrounding uh, the whole uh, Wagner affair and its, um, its, its um, alleged mutiny. And it's really difficult to see how the Kremlin's media machine is going to, uh, to spin this meeting in a way that would help prop up um, Vladimir Putin's authority because at the start of this mutiny he had vowed to punish people he called traitors uh, and as far as we know that punishment never really occurred. Vitaly Shevchenko, it's great to have experts like, we, like you guiding us through these stories. Thanks very much for the moment.